Hi there everybody, this is Ms. Nelson again and we are doing lesson 1.3 in our fourth grade Florida Go Math book. Lesson 1.3 is comparing and ordering numbers. So when it says comparing, it's going to ask you if one number is less than, equal to, or greater than another number. And when it's ordering numbers, it's giving you a set of numbers and asking you to put them in order from either least to greatest or greatest to least. So one thing that will really help you when you are learning how to compare or order numbers is using our place value chart. So on our place value chart here, this is our place value chart, it has two periods on it. it, has the ones period and the thousands periods. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, this is an example of a problem where they're asking us to compare. So we'll say which of the two numbers that they give us is greater than the other two num the other number. So we're going to write the two numbers that they give us, which are here and here, into our place value chart first. So basically that means lining the numbers up so we can look at them clearly in order to compare them. So they're not all smashed together and we're able to compare them correctly. There's our first number and our second number. Eight. Okay, here's the steps to compare numbers. When we compare numbers, we're always going to look at our biggest number first. So in this case, we're in the hundred thousands place. In the hundred thousands place, we have a six for our first number and a six for our second number. They're exactly the same. So we move to the next number. We just kind of ignore them. So in the ten thousands place, we have a five here and a six here. You already know when you're counting that a six is greater than a five. So we have our answer on which number is greater. Our second number is greater than our first number. So how you would write that out in a number sentence is, you put the first number that they gave you, 651,028. You leave a little space in your workbooks, they put a circle. And our second number is 665,188. And since we found out this number is the smaller number. This number is the bigger number. We want our alligator mouth to eat the bigger number. So when we read this out loud, it says 651,028 is less than 665,188. So that's how we compare two numbers. You put them in the place value chart, you start looking at your biggest number, see which one's the biggest. If they're the same, you're gonna have to cross them out and move to the next place value in order to compare. All right, so that's the first part of lesson 1.3. Now the second part of lesson 1.3, let me see if I can change this picture over here. I think I can. Say don't save, there we go. All right, so our second part I here, I just have some numbers to compare. This is exactly the same way, these numbers seven through 10 are exactly the same way that we just did. So what I would do in this situation is I would line them up, since they don't give us a place value chart, I just line them up on top of each other. So my first step number is 2,212. My second number is 2,600. So now that I have them lined up, I start in my biggest number, they're both twos. So I'm gonna cross them out and look at the next one. Okay, I have a two and a six. A six is bigger, so in my number sentence, I'm gonna want my alligator mouth to eat the bigger number. So I want it to eat the 2,600. So now I have my answer to that one. I would do the same sort of thing for numbers eight, nine, and 10. I'm gonna show you number nine really quick because it's different than the others. And how it's different is that in number nine, we have, when we line up our numbers, we have 524,116. 
and we're comparing that to 61,090. 61,090, 60, when I line it up, we can see here there's an empty space, which means whenever there's an empty space, I can just fill it with a zero. A zero is called a placeholder. Now, when I compare my first column, it's very easy to see that a five is greater than a zero. So I want you to make sure that when you're comparing numbers that don't have the same amount of numbers that you line them up straight so that you can see where you need to put a placeholder. So I'm going to have my alligator mouth eat my bigger number. Okay, so that was comparing two numbers. Now remember I told you the next thing that we're doing in this lesson is we have a list of numbers and they want us to put it in order here. It's telling us from least to greatest. That means the smallest number to the biggest. So I'm gonna do the same process that I did up here, meaning I'm going to line up my numbers, 41,090, it's my first number. My second number is 41,190. I wanna make sure my numbers are very straightly lined up so that I can easily see which one's greater. And then the last one's 40,000 and nine. Okay, so my numbers are lined up. All right, I start my first biggest column. All of them are fours. So, Oh, it's making it small. Let's see if I can make it big. Make this part big. Big, 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 big. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll just do it small for now. I don't know why it's doing that. It went super small, but hopefully you can see it. Okay, so I was saying my first column's all fours. So I moved to my next column. I have two ones and a zero. Now remember it says I'm going from the least to the greatest. So out of a one, a one, and a zero, the smallest number or the least would be a zero. So I'm gonna put that number first. This number right here, oh, there we go. It's cause my hands are in the way. This number, I'm just gonna write first next to it cause I don't have much room on the line. Now, those two are ones, same number. So I can't tell which one's bigger, which means I need to go look at my next column. I'm gonna just kind of cross this out so I can see I've taken care of that one. My next column is a zero and a one. Which one is the least? Well, a zero is. It's smaller than a one. So that's going to be number two, second place, which means the last one has to be third place. So when you have these kinds of problems where you're putting them in order from least to greatest or greatest to least, the most important thing is that you line up your numbers super straight into columns just like they were in a place value chart so that you can easily look from your biggest number to your smallest number. All right, I hope this helps you for lesson 1.3. And if you have any questions, you can always leave me a comment.